Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to Pet Vet Marine Patrol, or possibly My Vet Practice Marine Patrol, which is what it's called on Steam, but when you load the game, its name's not actually My Vet Practice anymore, it becomes Pet Vet Marine Patrol, so that's always a good sign when the Steam page and the actual game disagree on what the actual game is called. So this, this is the one, obviously, you've all been waiting for, given, of course, you know, I'm pretty sure at least, like, two-thirds of my subscribers originally found my channel through my original video on Pet Vet 1 Guinea Pigs on Parade, so you know what? We had to go in and look at the sequel. You have to start off by choosing which Marine Patrol vet you want to be, and whichever one you select, the other one looks actively really cross about it. That guy just really desperately wanted to get out there and heal some walruses, but no, no, that's her job today. Hello and welcome! It's great to see you again. I was very excited to hear you were coming. Well, I'm very excited to be here because you're wearing a bow tie and bow ties are indeed cool. Hello, Dr. Blumenthal! Oh no. No, are we letting Heston Blumenthal loose in the Marine Patrol? Oh, he's gonna make them all into an exotic dish. You are the best in your class and you more than deserve this chance to help out here. Yes, absolutely. Good, I'm glad I didn't choose the guy. He was probably like second or possibly bottom in the class, but he wasn't top, so screw him. Though I will admit there is something potentially a little bit creepy and weird about the fact that, you know, the old grey-haired lecturer basically picked the young girl out of his class and said, Hey, why don't you come and hang out with me alone in my really remote veterinary marine patrol thing? Because, yeah, that's, that's maybe a little bit on the creepy side, actually. Animals in distress arrive every day and we have to help each one of them. At the start, I will let you help some seagulls that need you. The large animals will follow, provided you do a good job. Or, if I do a terrible job, they might follow anyway, because there'll be plenty of seagull corpses for the larger animals to eat. Oh no, never mind, she seems to be fully aware that he's only brought her here to seduce her and she's well up for it, as she flirtily confirms, I don't mind you calling me often, Doc. And here we are, we're in control with a sort of weird, well, I can move around with just the arrow keys, but also there's a little bit of a kind of a point and click and move situation, except if I just kind of click, she doesn't go there. You have to actually click and hold, but then she does at least run around at speed. Also, a ranger's arrived and has brought a- oh no, I missed the ranger. Oh, a ranger arrived with the animal, well, the animal's dead then. Oh well, that's a shame. Right, where's Seagull House? We were told to help out Seagull House. Well, there seems to be- no- Okay, no, she doesn't actually, she can't path. She has literally, oh no, he's back, he's back. Hello, Mr. Ranger. We found another Stratus animal. I believe you're the right person to come to. Can you take a look at it? Yes, yes, I can. What's the animal? Please bring the animal to the surgery. Please be more excited than bloody seagulls. No, no, it was a seagull. The animal looks skinny and his eyes don't look normal. What do you think, Dr. Bl look, this is the one job you're supposed to be able to do by yourself, all right? Don't bring in Heston Blumenthal. That... And also this, right, got it now. Right, now we've got uh, one more. Oh, just a little bit more. Come on, quickly, shove that on. Shove it on. 900! Nice, we've weighed the seagull. You'll have to measure the animal's heartbeat. And apparently we've got flipping strict time limits because this seagull is in the process of dying in the next 25 seconds if I can't determine what its heart rate is. Okay, since the animal cannot tell us where it hurts, but it kind of can, it can, like, flinch and stuff, we'll have to take several tests and make up our own minds about what's going on. Right, we'll have to use a stethoscope. Good, that's a good way of dealing with the heart rate thing. You did pay attention in school. Yes, and flipping vet school, she figured out how to use a flipping stethoscope. No wonder she was top of the class. Hermione bloody Granger over here. Oh, where the bloody hell's a seagull's heart? If you're close, a green circle appears. All right, good, good, good. Where's the... Okay, no, that's super. We need to do better. No, that's just good. Ah, oh, we found the heart. Located the heart there. Oh, yeah. Got the heart. Five stars. Number one vet. Now, what's wrong with this seagull? Suffers from some form of allergic disease. Ah, oh, okay, fine. Let's just get it some nice gluten-free bread and everything will be fine. I think this is caused by a fungal infection. It ate the wrong kind of seaweed. Well, then it's a rubbish flipping seagull. It should be able to eat any form of seaweed. Quite frankly, if we euthanize this thing and every other seagull that's got an allergic reaction to some kind of seaweed, we will be helping out. We will be Darwining out the useless seagulls and future seagulls will be better. Wait, I think I just converted my vet clinic into a eugenic center. Right, let's not do that. Let's just heal the seagull. Right, we need to shove an appropriate injection in this bird and then apply some ointment. All right, now what's the right sort of thing? Requires an injection. We've got to supply three powerful medicines. <laughs> One is full of vitamins, while the others kill bacteria or fungus. Ooh, it has a fungal infection. Let's shove it full of the fungal stuff. Right, so medicine. Let's get a nice big dose here. 
and shove it in this seagull. Nice, you've been all fixed up. No more fungal infection for you. Five stars again. All right, time to rub in some stuff there. All right, there we go. There we are. Let's just, is, is that enough? Perfect. Yep, there we go. Let's just get this all down. That's enough. And now we've got to rub it in with this here spatula. There we are. Just doing some good bit of rubbing on this here seagull. And soon, oh yeah, perfect. Oh, good enough. Five stars. 40 seconds to spare. Seagull mastery. This animal is now strong enough to be released. Say goodbye. Look, if it's allergic to seaweed, it's going to be straight back tomorrow. Seriously, this is a very temporary solution. Oh, yeah. Animal treated. Tempest type of seagull. Or possibly we named the animal Tempest. I'm not sure. Intervention type. Commission. Time spent. A minute. Prestige. Okay, excuse me. Hang on. Three out of five. I was flipping. Perfect. Screw you. Also, I get paid by the seagull. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seagulls, this better not be another seagull. It's another flipping seagull, but this one's a bit different. And also, there might be something more serious going on. Oh, the seagull conspiracy deepens. Why do you get the feeling this one might have, like, been in an oil slick or something? Because it's all black. And that's why it's exhausted. Its wings are all heavy with oil or light with oil or however oil works. Oh, dear. This seagull is under flipping weight. The last one was 900 grams. This one's only 725. Oh, flipping no. This seagull is malnourished. We need to know, is the heart still there? Yep, the heart's still there. Give it a quick listen. Boom. Good at seagulls. Right, let's just shove some flipping... Oh, no, no, that's the wrong thing. Right, shove in some vitamins. Shove it full of vitamins. In you go. Have some vitamins right in your flipping bloodstream. Also, we've just kicked that seagull straight out, which is a Laszlo seagull or a seagull we called Laszlo. Again... How is that only four stars? Screw you. I dealt with that seagull in 26 seconds, all right? I weighed it, I shoved it full of vitamins, and I checked its heart rate and released it in 26 seconds. Screw you. And now, oh, bloody hell, everyone's calling me at once. The flipping doctor who wants to sleep with me and the park range. All right, well, let's speak to you. Oh, no, I missed his call. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was possibly important because you would have, like, you know, potentially told me stuff. No, I'm not answering you. You just bring me nothing but flipping seagulls, all right? What we're doing is we're going over here to enjoy the view over by... Oh, now I'm just down on the beach. Oh, hello. There's something over here. I'll answer the phone first. Hello, doctor. I think you handled your first patient very well. Keep up. I've already done bloody two of them. Now, before we go and help some more birds, which you want me to do, can't help but notice there is, in fact, some litter here. So let's just quickly clean the beach. I seem to be getting paid about $20 per actual, like, can I pick up. I am going to get flipping loaded being a vet. This is incredibly easy money. No, no, don't miss the bottle. The, no, get it in the bin. There we go. Also, I should have recycled those, so this is not good moral messaging right here. I have found a seagull I can shove full of vitamins. Screw the lot of you. I'm helping out this guy. Oh, no. He's covered in black sticky stuff. Whatever could it be? Poor little guy. He's covered in crude oil. This is what happens when an oil tanker wrecks and ruptures its hold. Oil might be the foundation of Western civilization, but it's very dangerous and toxic to all animals. For shame, Western civilization. For shame. Right, let's wash off this bloody seagull. Take a brush. Rub the oil from the skin. Make sure you don't leave any behind. Gotcha. Calm down, buddy. Let's get this sorted out. And we're going to do a nice bit of scrubbing on all of this. There we are. No time limit here. The important thing is that this seagull is just kept safe from the horrors of crude... No, finish that. Finish that. Apparently the oil regenerates. Bloody hell, it's like the symbiote from Spider-Man. If you don't completely clear it off, it will just flipping regrow. Oil is a more cunning foe than I anticipated. But don't worry, little buddy. We're almost there. You're almost safe. One more. Kaboom! Seagull safe. Yes, five stars. If we're going to get five stars across the board, then the game will just slam a two stars on me at the end because screw this game. Right, seagull rescued, rubbish picked up, beach flipping done, marvellous. And I'm just carrying around $720. I've made $720 in one day. Being a vet is easy and lucrative. Right, can I do something more interesting? Like say that no, I'm not allowed in the seal house yet. I haven't proved myself worthy of the seal house. Or weirdly the lighthouse. Whatever's happening at the lighthouse, there's some form of... Oh, well, that's slightly suspicious at this point. This guy says, no, no, you can't go near the lighthouse. That's my own private lighthouse that no one else is allowed into. Well, that's just weird. Right, back over to the ranger. What are you bringing in this time? Is it more... Oh, no, it's a different ranger. 
Please tell me you bring me something better. I almost ran this animal over. The poor thing was just lying there helpless. Could you please take a look at it? Okay, this better not be a seagull. You didn't almost run over a seagull, did you? Because they can literally fly away. Everyone around here is really concerned about the health of seagulls. Right, hurt by the propeller of a boat. That doesn't strike me as a seagully type of injury. Like, you know, a dolphin or a seal, sure. But what exactly was a seagull doing, like, underwater close by to the propeller of a boat? That's quite frankly suspicious. Also... This girl is seriously angry at boats right now. She would ban boats if she could. We've got to save the seagulls. Oh, it's been really badly hurt. Its heart's in a different place from all the other seagulls. Blimey, that's one hell of a knock it's had. Okay, first things first. We've got to clean up the wounds so we can actually treat the wounds. Come on, come on, faster. Faster with the rubbing here. We've got to get some elite rubbing action here. Otherwise, we're not going to have five stars. And this seagull might not make it, along with all the other seagulls. Quite frankly, natural selection is clearly just clearing out the seagulls for me right now. But screw it. I'm going to stop natural selection. Darwin will not have his wicked way with these gulls. Now we need to disinfect the wounds. Good. Using the exact same motion again, but this time with a cotton swab. This doesn't strike me as, you know, a thing you should do to an animal that needs help, but whatever. Let's just basically shove this thing inside it. Right, go, go, go. Cotton swab. Disinfect. You're going to be healthy. Don't worry, little guy. You're going to make it. I'm surprised you're not actually resisting. This probably flipping hurts, but okay, come on. One more. Boom. Disinfected. Now time to shove it full of, like, medicine. Some form of medicine juice. There you are. Oh, apparently that was only flipping. Oh, no, it was five stars. Oh, I got four stars there. I didn't jab it fast enough. And now the cream. Now we've got to cream it. Lovely. Get, get the ointment all over it. Just don't spare any of the ointment. That's enough. Right. Now let's get this rubbed in. Damn it. Super fast. Super fast. Is that good enough? No. Oh, yes. Job flipping done. 13 seconds out of 60. Number one vet. Screw you, Heston Blumenthal. I should be running this place. Come on, five stars. Come on. Oh, screw you. Still only four stars. Also, that's definitely not a type of seagull. We are just naming these seagulls. This was Gusty the seagull right here. Come on, that was like the fourth seagull I've taken care of. Let me take care of something else, please. Oh my god, something's gone seriously wrong with this seagull. It's the wrong colour, it's beaks the wrong shape. We're going to have to do reconstruct. Oh wait, hang on, no, it's a puffin. Okay, that's fine. Then it's broadly okay. But it's skinny and its eyes don't look normal. Well, we know how to deal with that. All we need to do is take its heart rate, which will sort out its eye problem, and then just stick it full of vitamins and toss it off the cliff and it will be fine. Right, let's weigh the damn thing. There we are, that's... Ooh! This thing doesn't weigh very much, does it? No, that doesn't weigh very much at all. I feel like 420 grams feels very, very light, given we had flipping 900 gram seagulls in earlier. Right, find its heart. It's going to be somewhere. Yep, got it first time. Figured out where the heart was. Beautiful. Yep, ate the wrong kind of seaweed. Sea life truly is the stupidest of all life. At this point, I'm pretty much coming around to the idea that we just evaporate the ocean in order to create more space for land animals who are not this bloody useless. Right, kick out the puffin. That was Kingston the Puffin. Five stars! Five stars! Five stars! Best at puffins! Okay, I found my new specialization. From now on, I'm gonna specialize entirely in puffins. I am the puffin king. Goal summary, examine and treat two seagulls. I've literally treated like four or five. Screw you. Possibly only the one that I like found counted, so I need to like go and find a different one somewhere. Okay, fine. Let's go find a different flipping seagull. There's got to be one out here somewhere that needs some help or something. Gosh darn, I've come down to the beach and there's nothing but a stupid puffin. I've already dealt with a puffin. I need another seagull. Not the best way. Hang on. Oh, I think I've found another. No, that's a second puffin, isn't it? Is that going to be another flipping puffin? No, that's a seagull. Get in the vet clinic. I don't even care if you're not sick. You're coming with me anyway. We're just going to shove you full of vitamins. Right, this one's supposed to be a bit on the skinny side. Honestly, I think actually it's pretty much fine. That seems about right. Like 850. No. This one does not seem too skinny at all. 900 grams. Absolutely fine for a seagull. Since it's only underweight but nothing else, it seems to be a simple case of malnutrition. It's just been unlucky at finding food. Maybe it's just a terrible seagull. Indeed, you should give it some vitamins and get it going. No! No, if it just can't find food, then it needs to go and learn how to find food. If we just start sticking everything that's slightly underweight full of vitamins, then nothing will learn to hunt. We're going to be interrupting the ecosystem. You're the worst doctor. Right, well, let's just stick it full of magic seagull juice then. That'll sort out malnutrition. Bloody hell. Right, boom. That there was a big important goal done. That there was my goal summary complete. Yeah, give me a call, doctor. I'm ready for something else. Let's go into flipping polar bears here. 
Oh yes, he's calling me up. Boom. You did a great job with those birds. Also, you've treated a puffin. Do you know that besides penguins, puffins are the only birds that swim with their wings? Well, in theory, if you were to like submerge an ostrich or an emu, presumably they'd try and use their wings, right? And that's why their wings are shorter and almost look like fins. But dog, can't puffins fly as well? Oh, we're learning about puffins today. This is edutainment right here. This is true. They can fly quite well while penguins cannot fly at all. Did you visit the beach? What was your first impression? Um, this rubbish that you yourself told me had been here for decades. Now this is your marine sanctuary and this is the beach right next to it. So basically what you're saying is there's rubbish on the beach you haven't bothered clearing up in decades. So you are a bad, bad man. So, my new goals, beach cleanup, collect three bits of rubbish and examine two animals brought in by the ranger. Well, there was just some flipping rubbish right here, but it's just disappeared off the face of the earth, unfortunately. Hopefully there's some more down over... No, there literally was rubbish here, but it's faded out of existence, so that's unfortunate. Maybe we'll come back here later. That's a puffin. I don't give a damn about that puffin, because I don't actually have an objective to deal with the puffin right now. So, as no, there is some rubbish. There's one bit of rubbish. I swear that just respawned over there. Fine, let's just take care of that. Does it mean three piles of rubbish or three bits of rubbish, like, in one single pile? Well, screw it. Let's just pick up the rubbish. Here we go. Oh, bloody hell. That's a lot of wine bottles. At this point, hang on. Heston Blumenfeld's the only guy that lives here. And this beach is covered in wine bottles. Oh, I think the man's got a problem. Some days he just gets sick of healing penguins and he just comes down here and gets utterly hammered on cheap red wine. It's a sad, sad state of affairs. And indeed it means three separate piles of rubbish. Fine. So we'll come back here and do some more rubbish cleanup later. But we've got to do two bits of work for this guy. Probably some more flipping puffins at this point. Unless, oh, actually, this guy brought in my first puffin. Come on, bring me something more interesting. Ah, oh, we're back to seagulls. I don't care. Screw it. Okay, he's underway. Let's just shove him full of vitamins and throw him off the cliff. Come on, speed this up. And that's the end of my first day. I've managed to save six seagulls, one puffin, pick up two piles of rubbish, help five flipping park rangers who, quite frankly, we've clearly got too many park rangers on payroll right now. If basically five times a park ranger can just show up with a seagull saying, yeah, Looks a bit thin. You just stick it full of vitamins, please. Uh, and I've done two... Two somethings and three something else. Possibly like illness versus just fungal infection. That's the fungal infection. And I've made a lot of money. And now we skip straight to the following morning and the park ranger wants chat. No, no, no. I'm not answering him. He calls me like flipping constantly. What I need to do first is head down to the beach and pick up some more rubbish because the rubbish kind of respawns over time. So let's head over there first. There we go. Down to the beach. Yeah, piles of rubbish. Nice. Screw you, Ranger. We're just going to deal with the rubbish first, then I'll take care of you. And the third and final bit of rubbish I can be bothered to deal with over here as well. Lovely. And yes, indeed. Oh, it's more beer. Must have been a bad night for Heston Blumenthal. He needed two separate piles of beer to actually get through the night. Boom. Litter complete. Now I just need the park ranger. And oh, no, I can't be bothered with that litter. That litter is no longer my concern. Don't give a damn about it. It's sufficiently far away from the ocean, like, you know, a dolphin will never get caught in it. And they're the only cute things that are actually out here. Actually, no, Puffin's a pretty cute... Ah, in comes the man right now. Come on, Puffin. Puffin, not seagull, please. And he says, yes, it's a Puffin. Yes, lovely. Skinny and eyes don't look normal. But any chances at the fungal infection again? <laughs> This is like, I think, like the fifth or sixth animal that's kind of coming in two days with a weird fungal infection. At this point, it's not just allergic reaction to seaweed, all right? There's clearly some form of puffin and seagull zombie plague going around. Although I'll give you this one, it's ridiculously underweight. Only 300 grams. Hopefully it's just a baby one and not actually that light. Right, stick it full of vitamins, uh, be on its way. And that's no. Where's the heart? That's the heart. Nice. Oh, that's a fast heartbeat. Oh yeah, it's got the flipping zombie plague. Boom. Joker the Puffin is kicked straight back outside. I am an expert vet. Got another $200. And with that, that should be the job complete. So in a minute, he should call me up. No, I don't care. I don't care anymore, Mr. Ranger. Screw you and your Puffins. Right. I received a call from the environmental agency. Don't worry. They're really happy with your work so far. We both think you're now ready to take more responsibilities. Yes. Give me access to the dolphin house. Let's deal with the dolphin house. Damn it. That's great news. What kind of responsibilities are we talking about? And we will let you take care of larger animals. Boom. All right. Nice. That includes seals. I love seals. Everyone loves seals. All right. That's not something special about you. Seals are just awesome. Don't get too excited. There's something you have to do first. Okay. You must build a marina. So you want me to single-handedly build a marina? Bloody hell. 
So collect two more bits of rubbish, examine three more animals brought in by the ranger, screw the ranger, and buy the marina. The marina sounds way more badass. Right, we need to go to the shop and buy a marina. Residence upgrade is 2,000 credits. No, not that. Marina. Oh, 2,500. Right, okay. Never mind. I actually do need to take care of this animal. I don't actually care about the animal, but I need the money, damn it. Get this animal done as quickly as possible here. And that is almost done. Almost done. Come on, speed run puffin. There we are. Right, shove it full of vitamins. Toss it outside. Job done. Oh, yeah. Five stars. That's 200 credits right there. Boom. Is that 2,000? Oh, not quite. Okay. Right. Let's go down to the beach. And no, nope, more things arriving straight away. Good. Keep them coming in. More sick animals means more money. Oh, the vet work just got serious. We need to determine the internal temperature of the animal. And apparently that's a really important test to run. And I'm worried about where that red circle is. <laughs> what do I have to do? Oh, Tess, we need to sit down and have a talk, because you're about to be introduced to a whole new aspect of vetting. Right, so we'll just put that in the right place, shall we? And then we'll just tap the flipping blue button. And apparently that's got this thing to 40 degrees C. Is that too hot? Like a human's like 37 or something. Do you know what respiration means? Yes, breathing, basically. Next, we have to check if it's breathing. Apparently, we need a machine for that, even though we've already measured its heart rate. Whatever. Bloody hell, this thing is complicated. All right, I just wanted to get it in, stick it full of drugs, and toss it out the door. And I only got flipping four stars for that, but 160 should mean I can buy a marina. Buy a marina. No, screw you. Go away. Right, go to the shop. No, not a residence upgrade. Don't care. We are going to buy a flipping marina, because apparently I need to spend my own wages improving the flipping school that I don't even own. This feels like this might possibly be a massive scam, but whatever. Oh, bloody hell, this puffin's a little bit worse than some of the others we've seen before. Right, I need to grab some stuff and then just gently, like, shove it out and put it over there. Right, next up, we need to pull this out slowly. There we are. Now this one needs to come out this way. And there we go. And is that one more bit there? Come out there. Lovely. Now it's time to clean up your wounds, little guy. Hang on, I might possibly be able to do, like, a few of them at once. No, I'm not sure the game's even willing to register a few of them at once. That's a shame. That's probably the slower way of doing it. And then just stick it full of puffin juice. Job done. Throw out the door. Right, that's three of them taken care of. No, screw you. I don't care about you anymore. And we've got a marina, which presumably, like, attracts... I don't know, seals or something. But before we go over to that, we need to go and pick up some more. Ah, beautiful. There's rubbish flipping everywhere. Actually, relatively little on this occasion. And some of it actually looks like soft drinks. Ah, good, good. With me around to help out, fortunately, Heston's drinking is getting under control. Yeah, there's not even a single alcohol bottle in this bunch. It's just water and soft drinks. Oh, Heston, I'm proud of you, man. And that should be your lot. And he'll call me in a second. But okay, I'm just going to miss your call because I want to go check out my jetty. All right, I just want to see if I can do anything there. No, I need to okay, work work around it. Work work around it. Now now go down the... Okay, fine. I'll use the arrow keys for just a second because the camera doesn't cooperate. Oh, yeah. Got a jetty. Going to answer the call from the jetty that I purchased. And from now on, rangers will be able to bring you dolphins, seals, and penguins. Oh, this is the best thing I've ever flipping purchased. Right, new set of objectives. Clean three oiled animals. Okay, fine. We need to take care of three oiled animals. But hopefully you might bring me oiled penguins, right? Come on, Mr. Ranger. You can now bring me exciting stuff. I've got like a better than average chance. Like three of the five animals are new. You better be bringing me something new and exciting. Screw you. I hate you so much. Okay, important question. Now that I've done... No, I'm not allowed inside the flipping dolphin house. Even though I'm allowed to treat dolphins. Now... Ranger friend, I have answered a lot of calls from you, and you're not bringing me the penguins or dolphins I seek. All right, so it better flipping be- Oh, never mind, I've missed you. Also, it's snowing on this occasion. Well, that's fine. That's a okay. We're getting towards the end of the day. So maybe I should take care of, like, a couple of oily animals down here on the beach, because that is my main objective. Okay, you look like you're dying of oil. If we do my main objective, maybe we'll be able to... <gasps> That's a seal! Seal. Guaranteed seal. Boom! Seal covered in oil. Yeah. Scrub that off. Seal. I'm going to help you out, seal. You're going to enjoy this so flipping much. When we're done and you're asked to review me, you will gladly give me the seal of approval. All right. Now, this I should have been doing all along. Apparently, there were just guaranteed seals on the beach. Any chance of a guaranteed penguin that's also covered in... Oh, damn. I hope there's a penguin covered in oil on the beach. Then I get a guaranteed penguin. Penguins are awesome. 
Wait, hang on. What are you? Are you a penguin? <gasps> Guaranteed penguin spawn. Yes. Penguin. Penguin. Oh, I get to rub his tummy. I get to rub the tummy of a penguin. This is the best thing. Also, you are a massive wuss penguin. There's like barely any flipping oil on you. There's like three little blobs. And that's the end of the day. Nice. My first penguin and seal, but sadly no beach dolphins. Maybe there'll be a beach dolphin tomorrow if I'm lucky. Oh, five stars for the day. Boom. That's a flipping oiled up penguin right there. No oiled up dolphin though. Fine. We'll handle the penguin. Ah, you see, this guy's got way more flipping oil on him. And last little bit. Don't worry, little buddy. You're almost oil free. Job done. Boom. That's a big old pile of money there. And that is a load of oiled up creatures taken care of. I believe that was my new major task for the minute. Did you know the centre has support for a number of shelters? If an animal is still too weak or sick to be released immediately, it will have to stay in a shelter for a while. There it will recover safely before we release it. Ah, that'll be what those other buildings are for then. Fine. But you'll have to buy authorizations for the shelters first. You can now purchase these in your PDA in the shop submenu. Now I need you to unlock the bird shelter. Do you think you can do that? No, I want to unlock the flipping dolphin shelter. Boo! Also, he's just given me an order to unlock the bird shelter, when the only way to unlock the bird shelter is with the money that he's paying me per animal healed, but whatever, I guess. I need to examine- I've just examined and treated a seal, damn it. Right, okay, I just need to treat two puffins. Right, any chance there's like a puffin on the beach? I doubt I've got much money right now. Residence upgrade, no. Puffin and seagull, bloody hell, that's 2,000 on its bloody own. Right, I need to find some puffins. Are there any puffins, like, dying on this beach? Because if so, that'd be great. I don't care about the litter anymore, because you're not actually, you know... Well, technically, you are paying me. Actually, you know what? How much am I paid for litter? If I'm paid quite a bit for litter, this might be much, much faster. Oh, not if there's that much litter. Oh, no. Heston's fallen off the flipping wagon again. Oh, yeah, this is worth a lot of money very bloody quickly. Yeah, let's just quickly do this little mini game, because this is worth, like, uh, $20 a piece. So, yeah, this is definitely worth doing, because it's super quick. And still no bloody dying puffins down on the beach. Well, that's just bloody inconvenient. Right, beach cleared up. Beautiful. And that actually gets me up to 2,000. So I believe right now I can purchase the... Yep, there we are. Puffin and seagull shelter access. Boom. And there's the birdhouse full of the bloody puffins and seagulls that I bloody despise because they never bloody leave me alone and always keep showing up. Right, let's go inside. What's going on in here then? And it is literally nothing. I had to pay $2,000 to come and hang out in here, and there's nothing happening. Right, well you better have flipping puffins or seals for me, because that's the only thing I need right now. Ooh, it's someone in blue. <gasps> we found an animal out at sea. Please be a dolphin, 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 please be a dolphin. And it's a seal, that's pretty good. Right, now what's wrong with this animal? Uh, right, hang on. Where's the heart of a seal? Apparently it's there. Really? That seems awfully high up. Underweight, slightly abnormal heart rate. This animal is exhausted. By any chance it's Heston going to recommend we shove it full of vitamins and then just toss it back in the ocean? Because that's your answer to just about everything. Yep, vitamins will support its vitality. Just stick it full of drugs. In we go. There we are. Drugs and... Where am I sticking these drugs? Is that its tail? I think that's its tail. Stick the drugs in the tail. Job done. Boom. One healthy seal. Right, so that just means now I need to find two puffins. Examine and treat two puffins. Gotcha. So hang on, let's just get down to the beach here. Just check if there's any actual guaranteed puffin drops down on the beach. Because if there are, that'll be more efficient. If there's not, I'll deal with the ranger. But he might bring me something else useless. Gosh darn it, there's not one sick or dying puffin here. That is not helpful in the slightest. Fine, let's just go out into my beautiful little marina and wait for the ranger to bring me a puffin. You better be bringing me a puffin. Oh yes, puffin, boom. Oh, it's got a broken wing. Oh, we've got to x-ray it. That's new. Right, how do we x-ray the puffin? What do we need to do? That's not an x-ray, that's a stethoscope. Also, its heart is... Oh, oh no. Yeah, it's had its wing really badly broken. Its heart's migrated low in its chest than most of the other puffins. Am I literally just clicking these in the right order? Am I just counting up? Is that what we're doing at this point? Oh my goodness, game. This is basic even by your standards. Marvellous. I've x-rayed it by counting to seven. Kaboom. And we found the fracture. Guess what we're going to use to sort out the fracture? That's right, we're going to pump the puffin full of drugs. Because we know literally no other way to treat anything. Ah, but this one we're keeping as an inpatient. Nice. So, get $160 for that. Let's go check on Puffy the Puffin. No, screw you. Just stay there in reception with a new Puffin. I'm checking on my existing Puffin, right? I'm just doing my rounds for a bit. Here we are. We've got... Where's Puffy the Puffin? 
We said we were going to keep him as an inpatient. It is literally as the puffin thing. Yeah, there's Frank. Oh, he's in the tree. Right. Okay, good. That's nice. And now I need to... Okay, let's... Should we give him some food? Ah, it is lunchtime. So, we're going to need one fish of that sort. And one... I think that's a soul. And one... I think that's a halibut. So, apparently, we're giving this one puffin three big fish of different kinds. This is one bloody spoilt puffin right here. And as a result, Frankie is in a good mood. Right, his treatment's good, his food's good. Right, apparently, however, he needs a wash, and also, we need to get his zen up. Let's work on his zen here. This animal looks sad. <laughs> now, how would you cheer up a puffin? This feels like the setup to a joke. Stroking the animal has been proven to lower their blood pressure and speed up the recovery process. It's a wild animal! This is a terrible idea. No, no, we shouldn't do this, but all right, fine. Let's pet him regularly. I have to be very gentle. Right, we've got to find the sweet spot where he likes to be petted, where he'll make a special noise. That's good. Okay, what about his belly? That's great. How about the wing? That's perfect. But he's not making a special noise. And Okay, no, that's, that's not going any lower down, actually. Okay, he's actually making special noises with his head. I think he likes the head. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I think he likes being stroked on his head. Boom, his mood is now top notch, but he's dirty, so let's give him a quick clean. I was about to say, I'm not sure we should just sort of be cleaning the animals, they really should be able to like, you know, clean themselves. They're not actually staying at a hotel here. Right, let's clean out this thing. And let's just get rid of all the spots on the windows, that's apparently all we need to do to clean this here cage. We just need to clean the windows, don't need to clean out the droppings or anything, <laughs> no. As long as the window is clean, then everything's fine. Good. So Frankie is now good for everything, which means hopefully he'll recover in time. Don't worry, Puffy the Puffin will get you on your flipping way. Yeah, that's right. I just need to fix one more Puffin. So come on, Mr. Ranger. Just bring me another Puffin. If you bring me something that's not a Puffin, I'm going to be so annoyed. I might just kill it out of spite. All right, in he comes. In he comes. That's right. It's the woman in green. I like her. She doesn't bring me seals. She brings me... Yes, Puffin. Nice. Now, this is different. And this Puffin has rough feathers. Ooh, Puffin from the wrong side of the tracks. And luckily, we can sort that out by, you guessed it, injecting him full of drugs. Nice and simple. And this one doesn't need to stay in overnight. We can just get rid of it. Marvellous. Ooh, 21 seconds. Bloody expert vetting there. Now, that should be... You lot, right? I think that's all of my jobs. Yep. So expect a call from Heston Blumenthal any second. No. <laughs> Screw you. Don't care. Right. What have we got here? I see you've unlocked the bird shelter. Good. From now on, you're able to welcome birds such as puffins and seagulls as inpatients. And I already have. So, new objectives. I need to feed a puffin, stroke a puffin. Oh, bloody hell. Right. You know what? I've been too efficient for my own good here. Right. Puffy the puffin. We need to do all of that stuff I just did again. Right, very quickly, let's just do a little bit more cleaning here. There we go, cleanliness is already pretty much spot on, so it'll barely take a second just to sort out the spots on the windows. Boom, good all round, up to three stars. Fine, we should probably wait for him, because in the morning we'll probably need to top him up. Yeah, as that's literally all we need to do, let's just go over here and actually end day and save. Yep, spot on. Right, now I just need to stroke a puffin and then release it. Hopefully, overnight... Puffy the Puffin is going to have recovered and not be dead. Right, not dead, not dead, not dead! Nice. Presumably he's, yep, he's doing pretty well so far. So we need to stroke the Puffin. That's what they said. And we know where Puffy the Puffin likes to be stroked. It's on his head. So just keep stroking him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Actually, let's just, you know, get this done a bit faster. Faster stroking. Yep, super. Lovely. Perfect. Job done. And he's up to four stars at this point. Right, just a little bit more treatment, a bit more food will sort him out. So just shove him full of drugs. At this point, he must be most of the way to being a flipping super puffin. And that gets up to four and a half stars. Just toss him some food. He should be ready to go. So give him all his favourites. So oh, Puffy, I'm going to miss you, Puffy the Puffin. In go the fish. Sadly, we don't actually get to see him eating the damn things. But those are all his favourites. And there he goes. Puffy the Puffin looking so happy with himself. Up to five flipping stars. Puffy, it's time to say goodbye. And with five stars, he's going on his way. Ooh, 500 credits because he was an inpatient. Nice. Oh, we get a little cutscene of Puffy. Oh, look at him. He's so happy on his iceberg or something. And off he goes. 
back out to sea, probably to immediately eat some seaweed. He's going to be allergic to him. We'll see him in two minutes or something. Oh, I've done a good job. Bless you, Puffy. Bless you. And we're ready for the second shelter. Penguins and seals. Oh, yes. Nice. I'm guessing you need me to spend my own flipping money on that, by the way. Yep. Yes, of course you need me to do that. Well, screw that. That's probably my only objective right now, isn't it? No, I also need to examine another four animals brought in by a ranger and release two flipping animals. Right. Not sure I can be bothered with that, because there's a far easier way to make money in this game than actually healing animals. Instead, what we're just going to do is go down to the beach and pick up rubbish. Because down on the beach, there's loads of rubbish, and rubbish is worth absolutely flipping tons of money. Oh, yeah, look. Rubbish everywhere. It's a flipping gold mine in broken bottle form. Oh, the ranger wants something, but we've got a bigger emergency. We've got a seal right here on the beach. Hello, Mr. Seal. What's wrong with you? Several dirty and quite severe- Oh, no, if I'd have known it was dirty and severe wounds, I wouldn't have bothered. That's really time-consuming for not much bloody money. Oh, yes, we've got our first dolphin. We've got a dolphin. <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't be treating a dolphin on a table like we ought to like be having it in like a bath or something. The dolphin has an abnormal respiratory rate and it wheezes. Yes, because we've got it out of the water. Why would we have done this? Why are we not treating this thing in the water inside a bath? No wonder it's got an abnormal respiratory rate, you mad bastard. Also, I've just nailed where the dolphin's heart is first time. Oh, I'm so glad we've got a dolphin. We've got a dolphin. Kaboom. Lovely. We can't actually keep it as like an inpatient. Also, oh bloody hell. We're going to check on its breathing thing using the thing that I need to wiggle so it stays in the middle, which feels like it's biasing the results, but whatever. Kaboom. Perfect. That's right. Its blowhole is doing... Wait, dolphins are mammals. They breathe. Do they just take like a big lung full of air and then just like save it? Or do they actually have... Oh, they don't have... Well, they might have gills. They haven't got gills pictured here. Mammals don't have gills, right? Dolphins... Does that mean dolphins are fine when they're on a beach? It's just, wait, why do dolphins die on their beach then? It's just they I don't know anything about dolphins. Also, we've got problem with fungus in this dolphin. Okay, the dolphin's full of fungus. That's fine. Shove it full of anti-fungus drugs. Toss it in the ocean. And five stars on my first ever dolphin. Kaboom. Oh, I'm glad we've seen a dolphin. That's marvellous. And we're getting really, really close by... No, I don't care. I don't care. I've technically got a new puffin over here. I don't really care about him because he's not puffy. I miss Puffy sometimes, but no. We've got someone new over here. Who have we got? Probably needs feeding. Oh, yeah. Sumo's looking not hot, to be perfectly honest. Sumo's looking... Actually, Sumo just looks really rough and ugly, even though Sumo's apparently fine. You know what? I know the secret with Puffins. You just stroke them on the head. There we go. Let's just stroke Sumo on the head. Right, I've maxed out literally everything pertaining to Sumo the Puffin, and Sumo the Puffin still looks like a really, really ugly puffin, even by puffin standards. So unfortunately, there's nothing we can do for Sumo's crippling ugliness. We're just going to leave him be. And one seagull full of drugs later, that should be enough money. I can access the seal and penguin room. Oh wait, no, sorry. I just need to just kind of cover it in ointment and then rub it in. But luckily I've got the motion down for this now, which is if you just do a big side to sweep and then that is, there we go, spot on. I think we just decided to keep that seagull. I'm not sure why we bothered. There's like so many seagulls. Like literally look in the sky. It's full of them. We don't need to bother like keeping this guy as an inpatient. But I think we just did. Yes. Yes, we just did. Good old smoke the seagull. But that's fine. You know what we're going to do? We're going to figure out where seagulls like to be touched. I think it might be the neck. Yeah, he's making special noises. He likes kind of little scratches under the neck there. Yeah, there we are. He's like tabby. Like some scratches under the neck. Beautiful. That is one flipping happy seagull. Boom. Also a bit hungry. Let's just get it nice and full. Of oh, blimey. You eat a bloody lot, don't you? Bloody hell. Right. He's fine and probably on his way to recovering. Beautiful. We'll just leave those two in there. But no. Way, way, way more importantly right now. I can buy my way into the penguin and thing room. Penguin and puffin. No, not puffin. Seals. Seals. That's the other one. Right. Also, I could just, or I could just upgrade my own house. I don't know what that does, but I could upgrade my own house. No. Penguins and seals. They're more important, damn it. Oh, nice. Now we've got a lovely big enclosure for penguins and seals. This better be a flipping penguin or seal that requires inpatient care. All right, you bastards. 
Yes, it's the woman in blue. That's good. You've come across another animal. Don't worry. That means if she's in blue, it was at sea. Now, come on. Serious injury. Serious injury. Broken bones. Probably, like, crunched under a boat or something. It's a penguin. Oh, deep and dirty wounds. That may or may not require inpatient care. Let's just keep it anyway. It's cute. Nice. The penguin looks stressed. We're keeping it as an inpatient. We've got a penguin. Nice. Admittedly, I think we've treated a penguin for this exact injury before, and after we were done, we just tossed it back in the sea. But no, this one we're keeping as a pet. Nice. And he's called Waldo. He's Waldo the penguin. I approve of him more already. Oh, there he is. Over there, good old Waldo. Right, Waldo's not doing so hot right now. His treatment's okay. What we need to do is... Oh, apparently his tank's filthy. We didn't bother to clean it. And once again... It's not a question of, like, you know, clearing out the feces or anything. We just kind of, we don't care about the animal feces. All we need to do is make sure there's no smears on the tank. And not just all the tanks, just like a single pane of glass. Boom. One pane of glass is now clean. And this tank is spotless. And we need to give him some cuttlefish and some halibut and some... Whatever these are, fish, other type of fish, happy fish. They're kind of smiling. I'm going to say they're happy fish. So one happy fish, two halibut, and a cuttlefish there. Lovely, nice and well fed too. Now, mood. Where's the special place that penguins like to be touched? We just need to listen out for the cry. Okay, might be right there. Hang on, let's try some other things. No, it's definitely the head. Right, it's pretty much always the head in fact. Lovely. Lovely. Oh yeah, right between the eyes. The penguin's loving that. Beautiful. And there we go. This penguin is... Oh, that was a single star in one go because he really enjoyed that. Oh, Waldo. Waldo, you're nearly ready for release, man. We're getting on well with you. Right, all I've got to do now is release two animals. So, let's just quickly escalate things to tomorrow to just take care of our animals a bit better. Oh yeah, every animal now been treated. Boom, I am a good vet. Oh, four out of five. Screw you, game. Also, apparently there's an issue at the residence. Is it on fire or something? Hang on, what the bloody hell's going on? Ah! Okay, sorry. That means I just need to go to one of the houses and top up some people. Right, Sumo. No, hang on. Who's closer to release? Sumo or this guy? Okay, you're both at two stars. Honestly, I think we just need to get Sumo out of here because he's so flipping catastrophically ugly. He just really, really needs to be got rid of. So just shove him full of drugs and toss him out into the sea. And just one more thing should get him sorted out. So, mood. Let's just quickly stroke him on the, the head. Yeah, it was the head, wasn't it? Puffy. Basically, everything's just stroke them on or around the head. That's literally it. So, we just do this a few more times and you should be ready to go. <laughs> you know, you're healthy and you're well fed. At this point, we just need to basically give you a reassuring cuddle before we toss you over the cliff. And that should be him ready to be released. So long, Sumo, you ugly, ugly bastards. And off he goes. Yep, that's right. You've got wings, you stupid git. Off you fly. I don't care. You're not puffy. You can never replace puffy in my heart. And the ranger's bringing in more animals, but honestly, I don't actually care. We're returning straight over to Waldo the penguin. We need him to be released. I want to see him being released. That's what we need to do here. I can't wrap this up until Waldo the penguin has been released. Oh, he's doing well. He's already up to three flipping stars. Right. Let's just quickly, you know, fill him up with some... Oh, no, he needs ointment. Okay, we'll just get him out of the ice and we'll just quickly kind of stick some ointment on his stomach. Lovely. And then just very quickly rub that in. Which bit have I missed? Somewhere over there. There we go. Good, good, good. So that should hopefully be him up to maybe four stars if we're lucky. That's, yep, full star there. Right. Give him some food. Like, not too much food. I want to actually give him a reassuring cuddle before we actually get rid of him. So, and then one happy fish. Right, lovely. There's a happy fish. Good, good, good. That better be half a star. Yep, that's half a star. Good. In which case, it's time for me to say goodbye with a lovely little just pat on your head there. Oh, Waldo, you are my favourite, all right? I loved you even more than I loved Puffy the Puffin. Goodbye, Waldo, you magnificent bastard. Be on your way, you healthy, healthy git. And he does a little dance like he's a Pokemon pretty much ready to evolve. And he could well do into an Empoleon for all I know. You successfully took care of Waldo. The animal is now strong enough to be released into the wild. So long, Waldo. And I get $500 for this. Mag flipping -nificent. Oh, Waldo. Goodbye. Have fun in the ocean. That's right. Off you go, little fella. Off you go. And oh, he slides on his stomach down into the water. Oh, he's looking good. Looking good, Waldo. And off he goes. Oh, 
And I believe that is my job completed because I've released two animals. That's right, Heston Blumenthal. I've done my flipping job. But the Marine is also used to a rescue boat. What? There's actual flipping gameplay in this game. Okay, now that I've got a boat, a thing called a sea emergency could happen at any point. Also, I'm supposed to be like taking care of normal day-to-day -day animals and rangers or whatever. I no longer care because sea emergencies are a thing. So there we are. Just wait. No. No, screw you. Screw you, normal ranger. Wait for a sea emergency. Oh, I don't even need to wait. I can just take my flipping boat out already. Actual gameplay. Oh my goodness, it's taken me a while to get here, but there's actual gameplay. Right, first need to demonstrate I know how to drive the boat by just driving it over to here. Nice. Yes, I know where I'm going, game. It's fine. You've made it pretty obvious. Test one complete. Kaboom. And now just three gates to test. I know how to turn, you know, left and then right and then left a bit more. Boom. Oh, yeah. I got this. I flipping got this. Though, admittedly, the weather is a little bit on the dodgy side. I think I saw it over here, right? Somewhere over... Somewhere. There it is. It's fine. It's okay. When I say it's okay, I think I might have... No, wait. Hang on. Hang on. No, no. Okay, just turn it around. Turn it around. Apparently, I'm supposed to be going in this direction. To to this one. Right. Okay. Through through here. Oh, no. I've, I've genuinely failed. I've genuinely failed the simple boat test. I think I was just really, really unlucky with the weather conditions last time, because this time it's clear, making it much easier to see where I'm supposed to go. And with that, I have got my boat license and can start responding to emergencies. Oh yeah, straight into it. There's a baby dolphin in distress. Time to go get a baby dolphin. Right, gotta go find a baby dolphin. Gotta go find it. Presumably I just stay kind of floating around the course. Staying between the yellow and the red here. Don't worry, Dolphin. I'm coming for you. Right. Just got to avoid all of the trouble. Stay away from icebergs and stuff. I really hope the Dolphin doesn't need inpatient care, by the way. Because so far, Heston Blumenthal hasn't successfully extorted me to hand over my own wages to unlock the facilities we both need to actually save Dolphin's lives. And with 18 seconds to go, hopefully we have located the Dolphin. Nice job. We're close enough to help that baby dolphin. Let's see what's wrong with it. Ah, there it is. Let me grab my tools. Okay, apparently it wants to come over to me. Oh, it even hopped out onto an iceberg for me. That's bloody convenient. And it might have a broken bone. Well, that's a shame because we've got no impatient facilities for it. Where's its heart? Its heart's got to be... No, that's too far away. That's also too far away. Does anyone know where the heart of a, a dolphin is? Ah, screw it. That's good enough. Now to see if we can count to three. Oh, I can count to three. Spot on. Also, dolphin skeletons look weird and scary next to dolphins. They should definitely continue having, like, skin and stuff. Right, stick it full of drugs, because that's the only thing we ever do. Now, what the hell are we going to do when we've got no inpatient care for dolphins? The dolphin should recover soon. I wouldn't be surprised if he shows up near the rescue centre now and then. Oh my goodness, now I've got a dolphin that's just going to appear close by to the beach. Boom. And the dolphin performs a little trick for me as it swims off into the wild. Oh, bless you, dolphin. I'm glad I helped you and you didn't die. And there indeed he is. He's right flipping there. I saw him there for a second. So now that dolphin is just going to swim close by to shore. And come and say hello. It's actually, he's a bit too close to shore. I have a feeling that dolphin is going to flipping beach himself and die at some point. But uh, unfortunately, not much I can do. Aside from come down to the beach for some free money from the trash and just make sure he's not actually dead. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think you get the point. This is My Vet Practice Marine Patrol, possibly anyway. There's a bit of confusion as to what exactly the name's supposed to be. And as the day ends and as emergencies start piling in and as I've got a new dolphin friend as the sun indeed continues to set... I think you get to the point. This game was actually made by the same people who made my boyfriend, he loves me, he loves me not. And I will say to its credit, it's better than my boyfriend, he loves me, he loves me not. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is, uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.